Hi everyone, welcome to the PR Software Training Institute. In today's lecture, I'm going to explain you about a Java JSP project. So in this project, basically we have created one institute management system. So first I will start with my project. First I will give you the complete layout picture and then one by one pages will start designing on this. So first, this is my home page. I'm just running this project on Tomcat server. And this is my home page. In my home page, if I try to click on register, it is saying, please log in first. Means without login, it is not allowing me to do any operations. So here I'm having my username is PR software. My password is PR123 dollar and submit. So when I submit, it will divert me on the register page after successful submission. So let us first I will do the inquiry. So in my inquiry, what we have done here is whatever the inquiry already we have registered, that inquiry will show here. Let us add one more inquiry. So I will take some new name. Let us take the name as Roshan. Mobile number I am taking double eight zero double one eight nine something. I am taking codes I am taking Python. And fees I will take the 7000. So when I did this one, uh, mobile number I'm taking 8880, just to remember easily that's it. Submit. It will accept 10 digit. Okay. So when I submit, you can see here I'm getting one row submitted successfully one message, and Roshan name will be added in my list. Okay. So like this, how many names you want, you can add into this list. Okay, let us click on register now. In the register, what will happen? I'm adding the same person. Already written was there here. Double eight zero double one was the mobile number. Here, mobile number is unique. I gave. What will happen as soon as I register with this mobile number from my inquiry? This number will go. You can see in my inquiry right now, Roshan is there, guys. Okay. Let us click on register. I will take it here. Roshan double eight zero double one. I will take it Python. Total fees is seven thousand. Here, one more thing is there. Roshan Python page, I am taking 7000 and he is paying 5000 now. So, how much is left? 2000. Okay, remember this. Trailer name, I am giving PR Software. And click on what? Submit. So, once we submit, we got it one message. Your registration done successfully and also data deleted successfully from inquiry. Now, go to the inquiry and check. Roshan is available. Answer is no. Because once you done the registration from inquiry, the data will go. So now suppose what if I want to see the pending fees, how much is there of Roshan? So you will click on pending fees option. So here Roshan pending fees 2000 is coming. Let us say you want to pay the fees. How will you pay? I will click on what? Pay button. If I click on pay button, automatically it is telling me your pending fees is 2000 and you need to pay more what? 2000. Okay. And if I click on pay amount, see 2000 got paid and from my Pending with my Roshan name got taken. So this is nothing but our complete flow of application which we are going to discuss here. So in backend, we have created how many pages we have created. So first page I created home where I created the login form and my logo of our institute. Then we have created multiple pages like we are having here inquiry form. So I'm having multiple pages, inquiry form, registration page. Uh, after that, we are having pay balance. So like this, multiple pages got created. So this all the pages, I will explain you the one by one in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, guys.